Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I'm going to review, quickly review this new son of uh, Zigbee temperature and humidity sensor which is, ooh, it's always forget what the name of or the code for it is, it is uh, SNZB02D. So we had a temperature and humidity sensor from Sonoff before and there was this uh, small um, you know white box with a temperature on it and you know it's been working fine it measures temperature and humidity and now there is this new product which it does exactly the same thing it works over Zigbee measures temperature and humidity but it also has a, an LCD screen so whatever you placed it now you can see the temperature and the humidity which is good and if I want to compare it to something else, I have another temperature and humidity sensor, uh, also a Zigbee one, and I, I just can't find it. It was sort of the same size, but it was round, but I think it was something smaller. So all I can show you now is the Shelly uh, one, which is, it, it's, you know, it's much bigger, it's bulkier, it's a different thing because it has ink display and this other one has, uh, uh, you know, LCD screen. But you can sort of like tell the size and uh, um, I think this is still big enough and the letters are, you know, fairly um, wide. So it is easy to read. Um, it's not really like, you know, very thin digits, which is nice. And, um, yeah, it, you know, it does what it's supposed to do and um, um, it, it all looks good. So let me just quickly go through it because what I'm going to do in this video is... We will see, uh, you know, a little bit of things and then what you get in the box. And then after that, obviously, I'm going to show you how it works in the Sonoff system and uh, or the, you know, the um, evening application. And um, since this is Zigbee, I can test it in other Zigbee systems as well. So we are going to see how it works in Tuya and also in my Zigbee to MQTT network. So first, let's just do a very un, you know quick unboxing which is basically just going through this device um, there is not much to say as i said lcd screen uh, with a wide bezel and it has these sort of like these barrel shape i don't know how it's called so it's not rectangular because this is curved as well um, and on the back we have a stand a kickstand so you can just pull it like that and then it's going to sit on the desk there is a button here so you long press this and it goes into pairing mode so if you need to repair it for any reason you can see the specs what i don't really like this uh, also uses this really fat coin cell battery so cr 4750 it's 47 2450 so cr 2450 which uh, i mean the only reason i don't like them because uh, you know cr Thir uh, 2036, uh, sorry, 2032s are available in all, almost in any stores, but this uh, newer, thicker one, uh, it's much difficult to find in stores. And also there are different size here. So there's a 2430 and this one uses 2450. So just be aware that uh, it's not the regular type and you maybe you want to keep a couple of spares at home. And uh, you have this tab here and you un you can clip the back off and the, the battery is under it. There's nothing else. So you have the option to use it with a kickstand or there is this wall mount provided as well. And this has a sticky tape on the back side. And then you can just move this like that. And then it clips on this wall mount and there is a magnetic force so there is there's some magnets inside so it's going to keep it nicely in place so uh, if you want to mount it in a wall then um, you know it's wall mountable uh, it's really nice it looks good it's just it feels like a cradle for um, um, AC units like you know when you have the split units and you have uh, a cradle for the AC remote and so you can use that as well and if you want to take it somewhere else you can always just uh, basically detach, fold down the kickstand and put it onto the table. I think it's nice and convenient way and there are some, well, it's, these are good options here. And it comes in this uh, orange box, which is typical for all the sort of uh, Zigbee devices. And you get the usual leaflet, which talks about like installation and, you know, you press the button to get into pairing mode and uh, 
yeah what else oh yeah it comes with a pool tab to separate the battery so it doesn't drain the battery uh, whilst in storage so you pay, uh, when when I pulled that pull tab then the uh, then this back cover popped off so you just push it back and that's it it talks about the kickstand and also the wall mount and as you're going to see later in this video it works obviously without any issues in the EV-Link system but I was able to pair it with my uh, Tuya smart application as well using a, a Tuya compatible Zigbee gateway and it was working fine and I did the same uh, to my Zigbee to MQTT network or MQTT uh, Zigbee to MQTT yeah service and that wasn't working in the beginning you're going to see later in the video but once I updated Zigbee to MQTT then these values you know the device showed up and I was able to get the temperature and the humidity the only thing I wasn't able to get is the battery battery life so it shows temperature humidity the link quality and that's it so, but um, since I had to update Zigbee to MQTT maybe there is going to be an update in a couple of weeks or months time when the battery information is going to be available as well but um, that's the device so we can see the you know the detail reviews in these three systems this is a sonoff temperature and humidity sensor so i think we should look at how it actually behaves on the sonoff uh, ecosystem and for that i actually going to use the ns panel pro and i have done the pairing of this device using the ns panel pro so i've just gone here and I clicked on add device and um, I think I mentioned previously but there is a button here so if it doesn't go to pairing you can just long press on this one and it will go into pairing mode and this device is added now and you can see it here so I have two temperature and humidity sensor and this lower one is the um, is this one because the other one is the old son of uh, temperature and humidity sensor um, I mean it is a temperature and a humidity sensor so there is not an awful lot that you can do with it it shows the temperature and the humidity and it draws the graph on the ns panel pro i mean it does exactly the same what the older model does which doesn't have a screen but now you can see the uh, the values here as well and if i go into my ev link app then i can also see it here and as i said it works and behaves exactly the same as the other one and um, yeah you can change the temperature units from celsius to fahrenheit and i guess it will take some time until this uh, updates on the screen as well but it has already updated here on the on the main screen maybe i'm just going to leave it like that and see how long it takes for that the information to go back to the screen so it updates it there i hope it's not the button because uh, um, to be honest i haven't read the manual now let me just press the button no it's not the button okay so we just wait and um, the other thing i wanted to show is uh, since we are talking about the ns panel pro is if i go into the ns panel pro and if i go to thermostats and if i go to any of the thermostat settings i just wanted to show you that um, both of my temperature and humidity sensors so these are both of my zigbee sensors the old one and the new one is available here so you can create a thermostat for the ns within the ns panel pro and use this uh, zigbee sensor as the temperature source which means you can just you know take it wherever you know move it around and then just place it wherever you want to measure the temperature for the uh, thermostat so that's nice and of course the you know the usual functions like the scenes are available so if you want to you know create a a scene on the temperature and the humidity sensor let's say if the temperature is over or below a certain threshold then um, um, yeah let's say if the temperature is more than 31 degrees well it doesn't show anything here it's it's always the value that you set whether it's uh, celsius or centigrade then something should happen so you can still use the old scenes uh, to trigger based on the value that this device measures okay so interestingly i can already see the value updated here but on the ns panel pro everything is still shown as celsius and also on the screen it hasn't hasn't changed to fahrenheit so 
I have to admit, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it's a bug or it just takes uh, even longer for these changes to propagate through all these devices. Uh, but um, yeah, that's how it works. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a simple temperature and humidity sensor. I haven't really expected anything else, but it shows the value on the phone as well. It shows the value here. You can set up as a thermostat and you can still set up various automations based on the values that this device measures. As you can see, I've added the sensor to my Tuya network as well. I'm using a Blitzwolf uh, ZigBee gateway for that. And um, I just did the normal pairing process. Uh, and you can see it shows the temperature and the humidity here. Um, interestingly, it shows the temperature and the humidity both rounded to an integer value. So it doesn't show any of the decimals. But um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't really do anything here because it's a sensor. So obviously you can have a history, but um, to be honest, I've just only done the pairing, so it, it doesn't have any data yet. But uh, as you can see, it will show you like, you know, daily, monthly and yearly history here uh, of the temperature that it measures and also the humidity, of course. And you also have an option to set up a notice, which it looks like it's like half missing. I'm not really sure what this notice would be because um, what do you want to get a notification on? I'm not really sure. And um, it can only be the low battery, uh, but it doesn't say anything here, low battery. All I can do is turn this on and off. And if I click on notice or done, nothing really happens. So maybe it's a low battery volta uh, not notification because I can't really think of anything else. And even if I go into the settings, there is nothing here that you can do. You know, of course you can change the, uh, you know, the device in information, which is up here and um, yeah set up offline notification share the device and uh, that's it but it is a sensor we don't really expect anything else and if i go all the way out oh yeah of course by the way the you can access the, the device from here so you doesn't you don't have to go through the uh, zigbee gateway and if i go into the scenes i can set up probably a scene on if uh, let's say the um, device status changes so temperature and the humidity sensor so i can set up a scene if the humidity goes or uh, above below to a certain value same as for the temperature and or you can also do the same for the battery so you can have the built-in notification for the low battery or you can set up a notification here as well so let's say if the battery goes below I don't know, 10%. Oh, it's really difficult to make fine adjustments here. I'm not sure why it goes all the way up to 500, but anyway. So if it's below, you know, like five, then you can create a task, which is, uh, for example, you can send a notification that uh, it is uh, running low on battery. And when you save, you can change the name and actually the name of the scene is going to be the text in the notification. So it's a simple sensor and it works just fine, but this is what you would expect for a temperature and humidity sensor. And finally, I wanted to show you how it works in the Zigbee to MQTT network. Um, and something happened. So first of all, Zigbee to MQTT was saying that it's not supported. And I thought I can just quickly update Zigbee to MQTT, which I have done. And since I restarted it, it doesn't load the UI anymore um, for some reason. And I have no idea what is happening. And to be honest, I just don't really have the time to um, debug it now. So yeah, nothing. It looks like nothing has been loaded. Um, so something is broken. But what I definitely know is the it is working. Because if you see on the MQTT, I have the traffic. So I see, you know, some of my other devices are reporting and two of my uh, Z, uh, Blitzwolf um, uh, plugs and this is a temperature sensor and this must be it. This must be the son of uh, temperature and humidity sensor because uh, the, the values, uh, you know, loosely match what I see on the screen. So it's 26 point something and 43. So it's that. And uh, I mean, the data is very scarce because it only shows a sense the humidity, the temperature and the link quality. So unfortunately, it doesn't include the battery life in the um, in the data, at least not in the current version. 
but as I said before the update it was saying that the device is not supported and it definitely looks like that the device is supported now because you know I can just see you know human readable data in the in the MQTT traffic so if you want to use this in ZigBee to MQTT just make sure that you update your ZigBee to MQTT first and then it should work and uh, the fact that the UI doesn't load for me it's probably unrelated and it has to be done has to has to do something with my setup maybe I'm just going to restart the server uh, uh, a little bit later but um, yeah it is working in ZigBee to MQTT as well minus the battery life and this concludes my review of this Sonoff uh, ZigBee temperature and humidity sensor. If you are interested in this device, I'm going to leave affiliated purchasing links in the video description. So if you want to buy it and if you use my link, then that's going to help me out a little. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.